Hello Budgenation, are you ready for YouTube Budget Rewind? Toot. This year was awesome. Not because of COVID-19, but for the animal world, Budgie's world. Let's begin with Cookie's birthday. Yup, every year starts with my beloved Cookie. In a month, Cookie will be 10 years old. My oldest Budgie and most tamed and most calmed Budgie in my flock. We made a lot of videos where you can learn how to properly take care of your Budgie. And we grew into a large YouTube channel where we have supporters around the world. Thank you, Budgie Nation. We visited the zoo at Belgrade in Serbia. I love all kinds of animals, not only budgies. <laughs> My first ever pet was a cockatiel. My biggest surprise was Australian. Our budgies on open, there was only around four degrees Celsius. They were like, it is fine, all good. We made a lot of videos on how to take care of budgies in winter. As we found out, they adapted to these kind of environments. That does not mean that you can take your pet budgie outside. Never do that. Anyway, I was thinking about visiting this zoo again in spring and maybe talk about the management of the zoo. What do you think about that? Write in a comment. Later this year, I got a call if I would be able to keep some English Bergerigars. Well, yes, I would. It is a pair of English budgies. First on my mind was that I would breed them, but I don't think they are young for breeding. They are great bonded, but not in a good mood for breeding or just lazy. I enjoy these two with my budgies. Then stupid COVID-19 arrived my country's lockdown. I spent more time with my budgies taming my stubborn budgie stubby. And it went all good. Patience is a key for taming a stubborn budgie. In a brief second, I thought Cookie is in love with my youngest baby budgie from the last breed. Nibbler. They were so great together. Nibbler was enjoying cookies and my 10-year-old Cookie started to like Nibbler. Did you know? Cookie is scared of the rest of my flock, but not of Nibbler at my surprise. But suddenly, my happiness was over. Nibbler is not interested in Cookie. A few days after, suddenly, out of nowhere, unexpected, Mr. Snowflake and Nibbler was bonded. I was like, is this for real? They were truly bonded pairs of budgies like Bella and Biscuit. Nibbler was already looking for a nest box. You know you can't breed budgies and females can't lay eggs without a nest box. I really wanted to see the babies of Mr. Snowflake and Nibbler. So I made a breeding cage with everything they need and a nest box. Only three or four days after, at my biggest surprise since Bella and Biscuit, there was an egg. Well, seven eggs only five days after. This was a great year already. I was making sure Nibbler and Mr. Snowflake have all they need. They eat a lot of food. I mean, they eat like there were five budgies in that cage. Seriously, you need to give them food at least twice a day. Then I made a video on how to check the fertility of eggs. It is simple. Using your smartphone flashlight, you can see even the heart of the baby budgie inside of an egg. 18 days after the first egg hatched, I was so excited, but my happiness would not last for long. We lost three eggs and even hatched baby budgie. That is normal for first time parents. We are now on three beautiful baby budgies. Only after 20 days, we found out what the colors are. Beautiful mooncake, Angel, my miracle white, and Cutie is a great colorful green baby. Nibbler attacked my poor Stubby. Stubby is just a curious happy budgie. Stubby somehow managed to get through this little gap and Nibbler noticed and rushed in and attacked. Stubby's head was covered in blood. 
Luckily, I was there in time. My wife heard screaming. All I was thinking, please, Stubby, hang on. Don't die on me, please. Then I separated Stubby and watched his behavior. He was so in shock. Luckily, only five days after, he was feeling much better. Stubby is a true fighter. A month after, he was again my happiest and most active bird in the flock. Thank God. Now, let's get back to the babies. I started to hand tame my baby budgies. They can get wild in the flock without taming. I made another great aviary for my budgies. We are expanding and I needed space. Even I was thinking about cockatiel. What do you think about that? And winter came. I hate winter. I mean, I love snow, but I hate cold. Here, where I live, winter can go negative 10, but summer over 30 degrees Celsius. I can't wait for spring. Waiting for another great budgie year. New experiences and a new adventure. Thank you all for... The screaming. Thank you all for... Thank you all for love, support, and watching my videos. I hope you learned even more this year. And I hope you... And I hope I will see you in next year. And make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Watch next Budgie Sounds or Budgie Care in the winter. Visit our official webpage for more information and Budgie Care.